Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Congressman from New York's 9th District, Bob Turner. Israel. 
This administration doesn't get it. We send our ambassador back to Syria during this administration. That is nuts. Why is that ambassador still in Syria as Assad continues to kill, to murder his civilians? It is outrageous. The people of Israel, they want peace. You've got to be out of your mind not to want peace if you're an Israeli citizen. Sending your kids on a bus, sending your kids into a pizza store in Jerusalem, or Natanya, or Hadera. The people of Israel want peace, but you know they can't take a chance that maybe it won't work. Because if it doesn't work, they are, it's over for the people of Israel. Eil Barak, we forget the facts, especially the liberal media. They choose the facts. Ayub Barak, you remember that guy? He was the Prime Minister of Israel at one time. And he negotiated Camp David with Arafat and Bill Clinton and was ready to give up everything, including the kitchen sink. Was ready to give up the old city of Jerusalem. Facts. This, these are facts. And there was one person who walked out of that. His name was Yasser Arafat. Remember the guy? The guy who was invited to the White House so often. And then when Ein Homer was the Prime Minister of Israel, negotiating with this gentleman, Mahmoud Abbas, he offered everything, and the Prime Minister of Israel, nuts, was prepared to internationalize the old city of Jerusalem. Those are public facts. Mahmoud Abbas, the moderate Palestinian leader, walked away from those negotiations. The people of America were in a very difficult situation. There are many, many issues. And I'm concerned about all the issues, but you can't be right on everything and wrong on Israel. We will not support you if you're wrong on Israel and your relationship to Israel. I think the American people need change they can believe in. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm not endorsing anyone today even, you know, and I see it almost beyond the pale to support Barack Obama, having watched him these past three years. But I like what I heard today, both publicly from the governor, who has a record of friendship to the people of Israel, way before he ever thought of running for president. Saw your article in the Wall Street Journal, and I said, that sounds like me. <laughs> those, those sound like the speeches I've been making for years. Those sound like a man who really understands the situation the people of Israel are confronted with, they want peace. The people of Israel are prepared to make concessions. Every poll indicates that. But they don't want to commit suicide. So, Governor, what you said publicly and what you said privately upstairs, God bless you, and for today, I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you very much.